Oh, he's into the back of him. Oh, what a move. Oh, he's got a stick. In the wall, in this the wall. It. And the two teammates hit each other. And so what happens here? You just snatch the rears. Into the wall. There we go. He locked his front in. He locked his fronts up all the way in. On the whoa, goodness me, he's only on a 170 and he plows through, and that is a big moment for Nelson Piquet. Yeah, it swings in, doesn't it, on the way in, and then just can't get it stopped. Yeah, it was just very optimistic, breaking marker. Buemi might be close enough on the run down towards turn one. He's going to look to the inside line, but Daniel Apps will try and cover. Buemi looks to the outside line and goes through around the outside. Great move from Sebastian Buemi. And there's the look from Degrassi up the inside, and he's waited until the final lap before the pit stop window to make the move on Nico Prost and move up into second position. There it is, surprise attack. He must add a little bit more in the tank. He's got fan boost as well, Lucas Degrassi, of course, and he's using it now. Here comes Lucas, Lucas Degrassi. Break, balance, break, balance. Pushes the fan boost, and D'Ambrosio covers the inside line, and Degrassi still tries to look to the inside line. So close between them, Degrassi locks up, manages to get it stopped in time, and takes the lead of the Mexico E3. Degrassi into first place. D'Ambrosio's coming back at him around the outside of turn three. That's not going to be an overtaking opportunity. Degrassi went for it, got alongside, still very close, still very dusty and dirty offline. Here comes Buemi up the inside, coming down into one. Oh, Buemi, Buemi saying, what was that? Uh, and maybe swearing, my French isn't good enough, but I know Comsa is what was that. And a, it was a last minute move across from D'Ambrosio. Here comes Sebastian Buemi, tries to squeeze up the inside. Goodness me, how close between the two of them there. Buemi's going to look to the inside. Oh, he's into the back of him. They come together and they go both straight over the chicane. Jesus, he completely crashed into me. D'Ambrosio furious with that. It didn't look to me as though D'Ambrosio actually made too much of a move that time no. through. So you're coming down. D'Ambrosio kind of drives in the middle. D no, Buemi turns yeah, left into him. This is that's pretty much on Buemi's shoulders there. That's, that's unfortunate. It's kind of silly to do when you, you yeah. have the car that he does and the position he does. It's, it's, it's silly. Uh, Silly mistake. We're on board with Sam Bird quickly. He's going to be overtaking Nick Heidfeld for seventh position up the inside. Not quite enough room. There we go. Good stuff from Bird. Can't get that stopped though. And has to go straight over. And that allows Robin Frains to get involved in the party as well. And uh, Bird remains in that eighth position. This was uh, Nick Heidfeld losing out. And Sam Bird all over the back of the Mahindra driver as well. Meanwhile, back to this battle for second place. D'Ambrosio under pressure. Look from the inside from Buemi. He's darting around in the mirrors. He's trying to go around the outside. Great attempt from Sebastian Buemi. Surely he cut across the track there. And he, he can't kick. Again. He cut this again. I think D'Ambrosio made my point there. So let's see what happens here with Sebastian Buemi. Is he going to give that place back an audacious attack? But And here comes Prost attacking, and they're going to make contact there. And this is really difficult times for D'Ambrosio. Buemi slowing down, D'Ambrosio's going wide through, goes Prost. And I think Buemi's trying to slow to give the place back. And now that means Prost is through and Apt is through. And D'Ambrosio, apologies for the language, but he is absolutely livid. And so he goes straight over the chicane himself to try and get back past. It's like the Wild West. <laughs> like, it's like wacky races. All cars around you are in fourth position. Oh, it all got a bit nuts there, didn't it? So it looked as though Buemi was trying to let, and has he done it now? Yes, he has. So Buemi has let D'Ambrosio back through into that second place. Buemi tried to let D'Ambrosio through, put him on the outside line. As a result, D'Ambrosio lost all the positions, dropped right back. So at the next corner, he just said, no, 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 no. That's not cool. I was in second place. I'm going back to second place. Lucas Degrassi, out through the final corner, is going to win in Mexico City. He's going to take the lead of the Formula E Championship with a fantastic drive. But here comes Sebastian <laughs> Buemi, right under the wheels, and it's side by side for second. Goodness me, and Buemi is livid with D'Ambrosio. Whoa, there's Duval Whoa. in the wall. There was Loic Duval, back end goes. Hello, Mr. Barrier. Not ideal at all for the Frenchman, and that means he will start down in last place. 
Oh, and there's an accident in there. Now, Nico Pross was just given the meatball flag, the black flag with orange disc for mechanical damage on that car. There you can see the damage on the back of uh, Lucas Degrassi's car. There's no doubt he will be forced to come into the pits. Yeah, and it's, it's rubbing the tyre just a little bit as well. But yeah, he's going to have to come in there. I don't know, he's, they're going to come in at the point that suits their strategy the best. But the, the officials are going to be black flagging yeah. them too. De Costa went on the outside of Sam Bird and then just... He just I mean, too late. I don't yeah. know if he was unsighted because of that, because he's pulled out and I thought, oh no, too late. <laughs> Jumped on the brakes. And he was lucky when he came back on there. P last at the moment, yeah, they're going to change it. Here we go. So, and the good news for Degrassi is it's a safety car, not a full course yellow. If it were a full course yellow, then they would have to come out of the pits at a slow speed. If it's a safety car, he can zoom back up as long as he doesn't lose a lap. And these boys practice this. They, they practice it all the time. They've actually just broken it again. I don't know, they've broken the whole wing now, trying to get it off. Go on, give it a pull, no, lads. Yeah, the mountings, though. They've got to get the mountings replaced. That's the, 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 the whole point. Yeah, this is not going according to plan. Yeah, well, the, the rest of the, 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 the train is still only in the first sector. So if they can get this on before, then, then we'll be all right. This will feel like Forever. a day. Oh, he's <laughs> sitting there and he's got no concept of time. You know, a second feels like a day. There we go. Fantastic. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. And there's the attack. And through goes Buemi past Felix Rosenquist and up into sixth position. So. Championship leader Buemi takes a place and is up to sixth. Darty Darty there. Looked like it was Antonio Felix da Costa again getting racing. It, it was. And he chucks it up the inside of Esteban Gutierrez and goes past. Robin Franks is trying to go through as well up the inside. Side by side through two. They're going to be side by side into three. Franks should be able to get this job done and he does. So Gutierrez loses a couple of places, drops down now to 13th position. Oh, but oh, is that Turvey slowing? Is that Oliver Turvey slowing down? It the is. race leader down the start, finish straight. We're on board with Lopez, but Turvey is slowing down. There he is. Oh, no. From the lead of the race, Oliver Turvey has run into trouble. Heartbreak. What a shame for the Englishman. Now, did someone just try to overtake coming down into turn one? We need to get a replay of that because it was all kicking off. And now here comes Daniel Apt up the inside of Nico Prost coming into turn number three, and he goes through then. So Daniel lapped up into 12th place, but it looked like they were going side by side into turn one. Look at this. Yeah, it was Prost lunging one up the inside, clear yellow flags. Uh. Okay, he backed out of it, but that's not cool. Here we go, look at this, John and Vern. Vern up the inside of Lopez. They have a little bit of a rub, and Lopez holds onto the place for the moment, but he knows that's ultimately for the race lead. Yeah, that's for the win. Look at this. This was uh, oh, the nice look up the inside move. from Vern. He would have made that happen, but the the the, uh, the dragon car in front just kind of blocked him in a bit. Oh, again. there's Luke again up into three. Can he get it done this time? They rub wheels again. He gets pushed out wide. He cuts across. De Costa gets involved. Got the I, I guarantee Got the you, exactly. That's yeah, exactly what was, Vern was trying to do. But he was pushed off, yeah. That was a tactical yeah. punt, that, wasn't it? He pushed it? him off to say he went off. Yeah, but come on. Here we go again. Tried Wrong to pull the same way move. Back. Yeah, really nice, but just, and just pushed him off. <laughs> yeah, he knew exactly what he was Of course was he doing. did. But here we go. Oh, there's so close there. And there's a problem for the Andretti car. That is Antonio Felix da Costa. Here comes the outside. Look, oh, he's lost it. Oh, he's lost oh, it and he's no. gone. Lopez bins it at turn one. And what a shame. And Buemi bins it with him. Incredible. Buemi was trying to overtake around the outside. Goodness oh. me. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Buemi's thinking, oh, Buemi's no. on the grass, he's I think. thinking, no, I'm not going to hit him, surely. <laughs> oh. Here comes Vern to the outside. That's not going to work out, surely. And it's not indeed. But he's got... What else What else can he do, Dario? And now here he goes again to the outside. But yeah. he, again, he won't be able to go around the outside. And there comes Bird. A little bit of a touch. Is that going to allow Heidfeld or Rosenquist to come through? 
Whoa, oh, there goes Rosenquist. Rule number one, don't take your teammate out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Great driving by both of them. D'Ambrosio knew it was a good run. He breaks, breaks, breaks. Where's Bird going to go in all of this? Can he get a run? Goodness me, this is proper defensive stuff from Jerome D'Ambrosio. And here comes Bird. Oh, Has he got the, the overlap? Has he got the overlap? Ferns on the outside. Where's Bird? Behind. Oh, there go the Mahindras. Bird gets a hit. <laughs> that Faraday Future Dragon Cart is so fast through the oh, turn 13 area. Oh, he's, he's made a mistake. In the wall, this in the wall. It. Not quite. Vern tries to get the inside. D'Ambrosio closed he's the door. It. But this has to be it now for Jean-Eric Vern. He's up into second place and he has now got to sprint if he wants to take the Grassi and win the Mexico City e Prix. And here comes Nico Prost. He hits him. Oh. Round goes Heidfeld. Pirouetting in the stadium oh, no. and then a shunt. And the two teammates hit each other. Mitch Evans is caught up in all of that as well. They all get going. That's going to be a safety car. Yes, and that could clinch the race for Lucas de Grassi. So here is Rosenquist. He's going to try and get back to the pits. He's not going to be able to turn left here. It just clipped him, spun. These guys have got nowhere to go. And there's a result. So yeah, Nico Prost did cause that collision. It wasn't malicious, I don't think. But And then you see the two Mahindras hit each other. Oh, I'll tell you what. Jagger finished P4 and he was <laughs> and he was sideways there. That was was that Mitch? Mm -hmm. Wow, good job, Mitch. And here comes Sam Bird now. He's going to go around the outside. Oh, I can he get this one done? Steer. Oh, what a move from Brilliant Sam Bird! An early pit stop behind the safety car. Looked like a gamble. Looked like it wasn't going to pay off. But it's victory for Degrassi in Mexico. Fantastic. <laughs> For weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left-hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.